The long-awaited Mid-Journey version 6 has finally been released, and it's not what you think it is. We'll go through all its new features, compare the images with DALL-E 3 and the older versions of Mid-Journey, and find out if the $10 or $30 subscription is now finally worth it. Mid-Journey is best known for its unmatched photorealistic images, and with this update, the photorealism got even better. The most noticeable difference is that the images are now more coherent and more detailed. Here is an image comparison with version 5 and DALL-E 3 using the same prompt. Mid-Journey V6 has greatly improved its understanding of natural language. From the words of the developers, you will need to relearn how to prompt, meaning you no longer need to use specific terms like 4K, Unreal Engine, or camera model names. Now you can describe the image you want to create just as you would to a human and receive results very close to your description, which wasn't really the case with V5. To get a nice-looking photorealistic image, Use the style raw parameter and simply type photo of, followed by your subject and description. Lower values of the stylized parameter will have better prompt understanding, while higher values will have better aesthetics. It still works best with short prompts, so try to avoid unnecessary words in your prompt and differentiate objects with commas. Another interesting update is its enhanced ability to generate multiple characters and images of real people, like actors, politicians, and celebrities. While this feature is undoubtedly fun, it might be removed or heavily censored in the future due to privacy concerns. Mid-Journey can now generate short text on images. This feature is not super impressive right now, but the developers promised that it will be significantly improved in the near future. You must write your text in quotations and keep your prompt as short as possible. Using the style raw parameter or lower stylized values may also help. When we compared Midjourney V5 to DALL-E 3 in our previous video, you could see that Midjourney was terrible at creating images in pixel art style. Now, V6 can generate very high quality and precise pixel art images. Other image styles have been noticeably improved as well. Many users report that now Midjourney does not react to real artists' names and even ignores general art style descriptions, which will be hopefully fixed soon. I will make a full comparison video with DALL-E 3 when V6 gets fully released. Like this video and subscribe so you don't miss it. Currently, several version 5 features like zoom, in-painting, 4x upscaling, and style tuning are not available. These will be reintroduced gradually in the coming months. According to recent Discord polls, where the community voted on which features they'd like to see first post-launch, InPainting is expected to return first, followed by Style Tuner, Zoom, the 4X Upscaler, and Pan. Two new upscalers are currently available, Creative and Subtle. Both upscale images to twice their original resolution. The Creative Upscaler adds new details, whereas the Subtle Upscaler focuses on preserving the original image. Image prompts have also been improved. You can upload a reference image, write a prompt, and generate new images based on the initial image. The team is also focused on improving the new Midjourney website. Right now it serves more as a gallery where you can browse through images created by the community, rate them, and examine the prompts. Soon we will be able to generate images outside of Discord using the website but the full release date of the website is not yet known. If you are a paid Midjourney member, you can access the beta version of the website by this link. Getting back to our initial question, is the $30 subscription now worth it? 
and my answer is not yet. I would suggest giving Midjourney V6 some time to fully improve and regain all the missing tools and features. If you want to try it for fun, the limited $10 subscription should be enough, although you will run out of your generation credits faster with the V6 model. DALI 3 on Bing Image Creator is a great free alternative, as it matches Midjourney in everything other than photorealism. In any case, you will find a full guide on using Midjourney V6 on our website. We will keep you updated as the AI image generation technology evolves. Thanks for watching.